Oh, that brother. Take him out. Ooh. Got him. Let's go. Hey, bro, watch your jet. <laughs> oh. He's mine. Oh. Can you not? Can you jump through the window, please? I'm about to have to use my super so I don't die and look stupid. <laughs> Fuck. Every time I'm in the streets, I make the gun go. Entanglement. I hate this guy, bro. I'm just saying, why does he have to play like such a put the freak out of here? Yeah. What? Let me just climb this. Watch. You got those what did I tell you? Yep. No! Bro, Is that Greg? That's all I oh. need. Oh. He knocked me out of here. All right, so brief explanation of why I'm on the floor and not at my desk. We moved, uh, house fire, other things, and yeah, this is a fridge, this is a refrigerator. One of the things that I'm passionate about as a creator is actually my connection to people through my videos, you know, I get a really, I get a high from just comments and interaction. I really enjoy music. I even wrote down some songs that I don't know if I'll ever make them into actual music, but I have them written down. Matter of fact, give me a second. Oh, they're actually sitting right next to me. I thought they were in a box. <laughs> I'm gonna actually turn on the music. The beat that I was like writing it to is actually a subscriber of mine that made the beat. So yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't normally know how to play shoot. Free. 10 feet chicken, I'll get in my back pocket. What the hell you gonna do to me? Stop the cap. Broke the restraining order third time this week and they talking about suing me. Huh? All the wills was for sugar and a bag of rice, a scoop of butter would be nasty. Ah! Steady apple in my waist, set a gun in your pocket. I'm surprised you asked me. Belt. And it gets more, it gets more weird from there. It's just, I just wrote down random instances, you know, just random stuff. But I do, uh, I like writing music. Now, as far, let me take the headset off. I fix the indent, it leaves like an indention. It's like the Great Divide. It's like this headset just parts the Red Sea that is my massive afro. Now, as far as things that inspire me, I was gonna name some really big names. Corey X Kenshin. I'm inspired by Phase J of the Gaming Lemon. He's got some pretty dope content. I like his stuff. Then you got a guy named X Chase Money. He's not that big. But the big names, as far as on a scale of one to 10 of inspiration, it's huge inspiration, but it's actually a six for me. Like, not to say that I'm comparing. Why are you talking to Oh, okay. I didn't You're good. <laughs> she asked what I was talking to. <laughs> On a scale, as far as like me saying that inspiration is a six, I'm not like saying that their content is bad. It's not about the quality, it's more about the drive. People that I see have just a huge amount of drivers, smaller people that I've come to, you know, notice. Some of them I've met. I've been making videos for two years, two years. There was a point to where I had another channel where I made other kinds of videos. I, I left that in the past. If I could find it again, then that'd be a dope video. But yeah, that's way, way back in the day. Like, I think I was 16 when I was making those videos. It was so funny because my name was that crazy neighbor and I made a Destiny video. It went into a little dry spell. So everybody was really hyped for like Rise of Iron, the Rise of Iron DLC on the first Destiny. And it was just so cool. Like I was so excited, but I knew I wasn't gonna get to play it because I had a PlayStation 3 at the time. It was only available for PlayStation 4. And um, someone that I knew had bought a PlayStation for me, but they ended up keeping it at the, their house. And I haven't seen them in a really, really long time. So at that point, I no longer had a PS4. My editing, uh, as far as that talent, I want to be a better editor, so I'm always practicing trying new things. I try and break dance. You know, I try. I'm not that good at it because uh, break dancing takes a lot of strength. Like you have to be strong to break dance. Okay, it's like it's it's not easy. You know, it's like I try and like condition myself to where I can be better at break dancing. But let's just say, you know, I do a little thing. Maybe I'll pop up at the handstand or something. And I like to push up, to try and condition my body to where I can with break dancing so that way I can get like a little bit stronger. It's where it'll be a little bit easier. It's so nuts because they're still doing like construction. 
So I'm about to try and hit a windmill at least one time to see if I can do it. You got it. I could, I'm telling you, I could hit one windmill, but it's just not enough space. This is not enough space. But I could, shoot, I could hit that one. I could straight up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. I also can write really great music. Like, besides what you witnessed, that was just me being goofy and writing down something just out of the blue. But sometimes I actually write deeper songs. I guess the last thing would say why I want to be in phase. For one, that would just be, like, phenomenal. If I could go back in time and ask, you know, my middle school to high school self, would you ever be able to join phase? My middle school, high school self would say, Hell no. <laughs> okay. No way! Like, that is not happening. The amount of practice that people put into those insane trick shots and like getting freaking triple head shots with one bullet, I just, if you asked me back in the day, I couldn't see it. And I was always trash at COD. It wasn't my type of game. I just play stuff like Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, all of these solo player experiences that didn't require, you know, as much skill as you need to have. Like Call of Duty. Like even today it shows in like my gameplays. Those were never my types of games. Like even in my Valorant gameplays and you know other FPS shooters that I play, I'm not anywhere near the greatest. So if you would have asked me that when I was younger, it'd have been a no. Like another thing, like I feel like that that aim is so powerful that I would instantly be taken more serious, you know, like you, there's so much power behind that name, and I feel like if I had it, not even I feel like, I know that if I had it, then people would take me much more serious than what they already do. Because I don't know how serious people take smaller content creators, but, you know, I sometimes feel like they don't. I sometimes feel like they do not take us seriously. Like, we're some kind of wannabe. We don't put in any effort. Like, our videos just are put together with no strength, no anchor, it's just we smacked it together and posted on YouTube. And that's not the case. And that's why I'm here. Like, I'm here for the little guy, you know? Back to the whole inspiration thing. Like, I watched a lot of One Punch Man recently, and you can obviously tell that I've been inspired by anime. But, you know, with Saitama, the main character, he is much stronger than anybody else that's in the entire world, you know, as far as heroes are concerned. But a lot of people don't, they don't know that he exists. Like he goes out and people don't recognize him or nothing. And then, you know, after a while he started to do hero work, but it was so easy that people could call us. Like people were calling him a fraud, a cheat. They were saying that you didn't work for any of that. You're just stealing credit from other heroes. And that's basically what it's like to be a good small content creator. Aw, oh, you're freaking leeching, you're mooching off other people's style, you're not legitimate, you didn't work hard, you didn't hustle, and it's not like that. That man did a hundred push-ups, a hundred squats, ten kilometer runs every single day, didn't have air conditioning, ate a banana in the morning and like little foods throughout the day. That man was working hard, bro. And no one was giving him the recognition that he deserved. But I also learned that you shouldn't get discouraged by that because watching him, craziest thing is that people started to change around him, you know, like he got stronger people, really strong people, not as strong as him, but he has stronger people looking at him like, wow, I wanna learn, you know, I wanna stay around this person. And him exhibiting his strength and not being discouraged by the fact that people might call him a fraud or people might not take him seriously. You know, he knows within himself how strong he is and how much, how much power that he holds. So he's not even worried about it. It's not even a concern of his. And with him having that type of attitude, it attracts more people to him because then more people start to get curious, they start to question it. And then when they try, they realize, wow, this is, this is what he's about, you know? It's, it's really freaking cool and it's so inspiring like I didn't even realize here recently I've actually been paying way more attention to like the themes and messages of certain shows and a show like One Punch Man is silly you know it's a dude who can kill anything in one punch but if you actually pay attention to it and pay attention to how others in the show respond to him and how they start to change when they're around him and how he inspires them it's so it's so nuts and that's that's why I'm here. That's why I want to join FaZe.